Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Are they fantastic? Kinda, sorta? Who knows? I'm Corey coming to you from Caliber Explosion uh, with my little review on J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Starring Eddie Redmayne, Colin Farrell, and two other people. The bigger guy I recognize from other movies. I just can't think of his name. Uh, this movie... I enjoyed it, but I must say it gave me the same feeling as all the other Harry Potter movies. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, so it's like, like I think the Harry Potter movies were done well, and I enjoyed them for what they were, but I wasn't like over the moon about them. So that's what I got with this, uh, with this movie. Uh, I am happy that this movie was not like a Harry Potter movie, where it was almost like three hours long. It was... I think a little at two hours or maybe a little less, which is fine by me because there's so much you can do with magic to where it's like it's no longer magical to watch. One big problem I had with this movie is that it seemed like it had too many problems within its storyline to focus on one. What I originally thought the movie was going to be is uh, Newt Scamander's character, Eddie Redma uh, Redmayne. I keep getting his name wrong accidentally releases some of his creatures that he is like trying to rehabilitate and give a better home to from his little suitcase. I thought that was going to be the main case. But the movie opens up with a different tone of this Grindelwald character that's like this magical terrorist type guy. So I thought, okay, maybe that's going to be the big thing. No, it like mentions it in the beginning and then at the end. And then you have these other problems throughout, like uh, Ezra Miller's character. I can't remember what exactly his name. His character is Credence, but I forget what he he is. He's a myth. He's a fantastic mythical creature that uh, Newt, you know, captures. It's like one of those type of creatures. That's one problem. And then there's a problem of getting all the beasts uh, out of New York City. Then there's the Grindelwald problem. It was just a bunch of things that like tried to put in the movie and then at the end resolute all of them. I mainly went and seen this in theaters for one reason only and that was because Johnny Depp is in this movie. But I'm not going to say how or why but it's a nice little twist in the movie. Uh, overall it's a fun movie. I'd go see it uh, with a couple people again. I, I may buy this. It was overall pretty uh, interesting and fun movie to go see. Um, if you liked Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe below. I'm Corey, once again, signing out from Caliber Explosion. Okay, bye.